Hi everyone, um, so this week we are going to do an escape room. Um, we've done these before, usually you have a paper version in your um, at your desk, but here uh, you have these different quote rooms that you will be escaping. So everything is from the previous few weeks that we've been working with Newton's Laws. So I'm just going to walk you through a couple of the questions here um, just so you get a feel for the, um, the program. So obviously you're going to enter your name. Now the first escape room, there are several questions. Now the nice thing is, yes, you must answer these, but these ones, I mean, if you get them wrong, it's it will tell you, but it won't prevent you from escaping the room. The only question that will prevent you from escaping the room is right here. This question here, the last one, on each of the stages. So in my directions on Google Classroom, I type this out, but maybe it's easier for me to explain it to you. So what is needed to create movement? Well, the whole um, first part of this program, or uh, part one, is talking about the word force. So if I capitalize the word force, I get an oh no, try again. Maybe I might try a different word, but I'm pretty confident that the word force is the answer for this problem or this question here. So I'm going to type force and then I'm going to be allowed to be prompt to go next and I'll get to the next screen. So I just wanted to, if you were pretty sure that an answer is correct, try making sure that it doesn't have a capitalized letter. Um, when you click next, um, obviously I didn't answer these questions. Let me just, I'm clicking random things, okay? So don't listen to these ones. Um, okay. Oops, forgot one. Okay. Push or pull. Let's answer push or pull for all of these. Okay, next. All right, so here I am at on escape room number two. And same thing applies. Here we have which law of motion takes place in this room. So you need to identify which of Newton's laws is talking about. So you would type Newton's blank law. So right here, you're going to put either the first, like FST, second, like that, or 3RD. So that is what you will be putting for the rest of the rooms, is you're choosing one of those Newton's first law, Newton's second law, or Newton's third law. Um, if you type it the way I have it, it will let you go through. Now, if you just write three, you're not wrong, but it's the way the Google form, you need that RD after it. Um, so just make sure that you have um, typed things incorrectly, spelled things correctly. But if you get really, really frustrated, again, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I am doing office hours on Tuesday and Friday from 10 to 11. That means I will be at my computer being able to answer emails really quickly um, if you need to get in touch with me. So I hope this helps um, explain how to do this week's assignment, but hope everyone is doing well. Take care.